This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. In this video, we are going to learn how to do scroll depth tracking with Google Tag Manager. Again, this is a very, very simple concept. All right, so what are we going to cover? We are going to cover how to work with scroll depth variables, how to configure the scroll depth trigger, how to use the scroll depth uh, trigger with analytics tags, and how to use the scroll depth trigger with marketing tags. All right, so let's get cracking, boys and girls. Before moving further, I would like to invite you to join our group on Facebook, the Digital Optimization League by DataVinci. Just search for Digital Optimization League by DataVinci and click on join group and I will approve your request. This is a free group dedicated to digital analytics. We discuss various updates on digital analytics, tag management, data visualization, conversion rate optimization and other topics. All right. So looking forward to meet you there. All right. So let's start with the scroll depth variables. So when you come into Google Tag Manager and you click on variables, right, then you will get this option to configure. Okay. Now if you get uh, here after clicking on configure, you will see a list of variables which are available for you. Right. So you can uh, click on the checkbox and those things would get available here. So right now the ones which are disabled are not uh, present here but uh, when you click on them so they get available so for scrolling you need to enable scroll depth threshold scroll depth units and scroll uh, direction all right so what each one of uh, them would contain we will see when we create uh, the scroll depth trigger all right so now let's uh, create the scroll depth trigger as well so to create the trigger click on new click on trigger configuration click on scroll depth which is under user engagement and here you get uh, two options, which is very easy to understand that uh, whether you want to enable both uh, horizontal or vertical scroll depths, or you want to enable only one of them. In most cases, you would be needing only the vertical scroll depths. You would rarely be using uh, horizontal scroll depths. Okay. Now here we have two options. One option is with the uh, percentages and second option is with the uh, pixels. All right. So again, this is also very easy to understand. So you want to set over here that when should the scroll depth trigger be, uh, be fired. So if the user scrolls 10% of the page, then should it get fired? If the user scrolls 25%, if the user scrolls uh, 50, 75, or uh, the entire page is scrolled so it depends on your use case that uh, when do you want to fire the scroll depth trigger and based on that trigger then you would be able to enable the uh, to set the various tags of analytics or marketing all right now just keep this thing in mind that uh, if you are setting the scroll depth trigger on all of them so it will fire uh, uh, for all the cases so for example someone who is scrolling till 75 percent if it's all will also scroll through 50 and 25 so it will not happen that uh, uh, only 75 percent will get recorded uh, it will get recorded for both 25 as well as 50 so keep that in mind and keep the use case in mind that uh, what do you want to achieve over here all right so that is one and the next thing that you want to set over here is when do you want to enable this trigger do you want to enable this trigger on uh, container loaded which is as soon as the page starts uh, page page uh, starts loading or you want to enable this trigger on dom ready or you want to enable this trigger on window loaded which is that the page has completed loading all right if you want to know more about these uh, triggers that's what's the difference between container loaded dom ready and uh, window loaded so i've created a very exhaustive and detailed video on that and the link to that has been put in the description box below by default it is uh, window loaded that a page is totally available in the user screen right and then when the users uh, uh, start scrolling you want to fire the various uh, triggers on 50 25 75 100 or whatever all right so right now let's set it for all pages but uh, you can set it for some pages if you want to start tracking on few pages only then you can choose a certain page url or page path and then set that value over here so i'm right now setting it for all pages all right so i'll just call it our scroll depth trigger all right so we have created our trigger such that it would fire when the user scrolls 25 percent then the user scrolls 50 percent user scrolls 75 percent and user scrolls 100 percent or the entire page all right now let's associate some analytics tag with that and that would also help us uh, get clarification on the concept of variables all right 
so i'll just create a new tag and i'm going to create an analytics tag and this is going to be an event tag right and we can call this as uh, scroll depth tracking in uh, category okay now in terms of action what we can do if uh, you are uh, familiar with this concept then to call the variables we have two options one is that we can click over here and select any variable all right so let's say that we uh, select scroll depth threshold and what scroll depth threshold would do would tell us when this event would fire that what was the percentage that was crossed by the user that resulted in firing of that trigger okay now that is one way so i want to have a scroll depth threshold with the unit of scroll depth okay so since we have chosen percentage so what i can do i can put a pipe i can put any value actually so i'm just uh, putting pipe it as it looks neat and i can type just uh, the starting of these curly braces and here also we'll get a suggestion of uh, the variables that are there so here i'm choosing the scroll depth units and right so we have scroll depth the uh, scroll depth threshold and scroll depth units all right in labels so i have uh, mentioned this earlier as well that i prefer putting the page url as label okay so that tells us that this event actually fired for uh, which page right uh, this is a non interaction hit no this is resulting because of a user interaction so we will keep it as false only we'll choose a google analytics settings right and for triggering now we will use our scroll depth okay now let's just go to the site and test this so we will refresh the preview and go to the site and test what's uh, uh, how, how is this thing behaving all right so now we are on the page and uh, i have not yet started scrolling but let me scroll some see the first trigger fired all right now let's see what is getting fired in analytics so let me scroll some more second trigger fired so here it's saying that we reach 50% of the page okay let's uh, scroll some more another one 75% okay now some more that is 100% that we have scrolled till 100% now notice this thing that uh, in the same uh, interaction or in the same session for the same page uh, the event fired for both for all three that is uh, 50 75 and 100 so you need to keep in mind when you are analyzing this data so you cannot say that uh, x percent of the users uh, scrolled only till 50% because the, the users who are scrolling till 100% are also the one who are scrolling till at least uh, 50%. So when you are reporting, just keep these things in mind. All right. So this is how you can associate your analytics pixel with uh, scroll depth trigger. And this would help you to find out that uh, till what depth are users usually going on the page. So if you have some critical content, which is at the bottom of the page, right? So you can prioritize that content and uh, decide upon uh, if, if the users are not reaching to a certain depth so whether you should keep that content at that level or not all right now let's uh, look at how we can associate the scroll depth tra tracking with the marketing pixel okay now uh, first i would like to tell you about the use case so let's understand how can you use uh, marketing pixels with scroll depth okay now uh, if you are familiar with digital marketing then there are different camping objectives whatever campaigns you are running they have different objectives the broad category is awareness engagement and conversion all right now each objective has its own success metric like awareness ha would have impressions as a success metric engagement can have clicks or landing page views as a, a success metric and conversion would have usually leads or orders all right now uh, what happens that why why you run different kind of uh, campaigns why you do not directly run uh, leads or orders based camping 
because uh, the way digital marketing works or these platforms work is that you first need to train them to understand what kind of audience would engage with your awareness campaigns once the tool has learned that then you would train your marketing platform to understand that what kind of platform uh, uh, what kind of people or profile of people are actually clicking and landing on your website and finally then you will start training to understand what kind of people are converting such that when you then after some time when the pixels are seasoned or trained right they start targeting the right people and that would result in higher return on investment so initially when you will run your digital marketing campaigns you will realize that the return on investment or return on ad spend is going to be less but as your campaigns get more refined right and as you tweak them properly such that they know which people to target and which people would engage and which people would eventually convert then you will see that your return on ad spend would uh, eventually improve right now what you can do you can add layers to this uh, entire optimization uh, logic right so instead of uh, uh, directly starting to train your uh, uh, marketing platform from engagement to conversion you can introduce another layer which can be some kind of micro conversion where someone is doing x all right so train people who are doing uh, target people who do at least x so target people who at least uh, view two pages on the on the website target people who at least uh, spend x amount of time or in our case right now it can be target people who are at least scrolling 50% of the page so it should not be that people who are coming to the page and directly bouncing but they should engage with x amount of the page as well so this can be a micro conversion and uh, this micro conversion you can pass to your marketing pixel so in this case we are going to consider facebook as a marketing platform and we will see that how we can uh, send the, uh, this data to Facebook that someone has reached at least 50% of the page. All right, so let's look at that. So we are back on site, and as I mentioned, that we want to target people who are uh, viewing at least 50% of the page. So let's start scrolling, okay? And we could see the scroll depth uh, trigger. So this is the first scroll depth trigger. And now let's look at the variables that we have sanctioned for scroll depth. So here the scroll depth threshold is 25 all right so vertically i have uh, scrolled at least 25 percent of the page if i scroll further we have another scroll depth and here the scroll depth uh, threshold is 50. so we will use this variable scroll depth uh, threshold and use the same trigger that we created for analytics for facebook all right all right, so I'm back in uh, Tag Manager and I'm creating a tag for Facebook for 50% scroll depth. All right, so here for Facebook, we need to create a custom HTML. And first thing that we need to do is uh, put script tags. And the code is fvq then in quotes you need to put track custom right and whatever you want to pass so here it would be 50 percent scrolled right and the trigger that we are going to choose is going to be scroll depth trigger okay but uh, what we'll do instead is uh, modify this okay so just uh, copy this and set it for 50 percent so i'm saving this right now and instead of using the scroll tip trigger we will use the 50 percent trigger Okay, and how we are going to modify this? We are going to modify this such that it is uh, going to be for uh, some scroll depths where we are saying that scroll depth threshold contains 50. Okay, right, so let's test this. So I'll open Omnibug as well. 
for uh, debugging what's getting passed in Facebook. Right, so let's start scrolling. Okay, now, as you can see, that 50% uh, scrolled got fired for Facebook and this was on the basis of this tag where uh, we had put that uh, Facebook 50% scrolled up tag right you will see that it is not getting fired for this one where it's 25% all right so like this we can send the information to marketing pixels as well right and this should help you to optimize the placement of the content on your pages so i've tried my best to cover the concept of scroll depth if you still have any questions then uh, feel free to put those in the comment section below i would love if you can subscribe to the channel and uh, just uh, spread across the word thank you very much